Welcome to another video with Elliot. As a follow-up to the Getting Started video, I'll explain the different components of the webinar room and how to use them. Stick around until the end of the video to find out how to maximize your webinar experience. The webinar room has five main components. The top navigation bar, the content window, the chat window, the audio and video window, and the plus button on the left side of the content window, which holds all of the powerful features. The ads banner widget is available in the business and business plus through the appearance settings. Let's start with the top bar. You can change the language here. The start button lets everyone in the waiting room know that the webinar is starting. Once you press the button, the webinar room will be open so that the waiting participants can enter immediately. Starting and recording the session are different buttons right next to each other. Be sure you're using the correct button. The room's layout consists of two modes, discussion and webinar. There are four different meeting modes as well. Discussion, presentation, raised hand and classroom. You can change the layout of the room template as well. You can invite additional participants and switch between light and dark modes. Closed captioning can also be toggled on and off here. Moving on to the second component, we have the video and audio options. You can turn on your video by clicking on the video icon. To turn on your microphone, simply click on the microphone icon. For more advanced settings, you can click on the cogwheel, which opens a drop-down menu where you can change the audio and video input output devices, limit the visibility of cameras, language interpretation, and the use of virtual backgrounds. The third component is the participants list and roles. This shows you who is in the webinar room and their role. Attendees of webinars will receive requests to turn on audio and video from the host, as hosts have most control over the room. They can give permission to use video and audio, change the role of a participant, and mute, hide, or kick all participants in the meeting. The fourth component is the chat window. This is where you can communicate with other participants in the room. There is an option to turn on the chat translation to your local language, and hosts can activate chat moderation. You can send private messages to individuals or messages to the entire room. Additionally, you can create group chats, which have proven to be very useful during events to organize private chats between moderators and presenters, for example. Lastly, we have the plus button on the left side of the content window. This button gives you access to additional features such as storage, screen sharing, presentations, tests and surveys, live streaming and broadcasting. You can also use the branding tool to change the colors and the logo within the room here as well. That's it for the components of the webinar room. Remember to familiarize yourself with each component to make the most out of your webinar experience. For more live webinar goodness, check out this playlist now. And if you've enjoyed the video, a thumbs up wouldn't hurt. And if you're enjoying the content I'm creating, subscribing to the channel would be terrific. Have a wonderful day and catch you in the next one.